there you are. So, how do you feel? Nervous, impatient. I'd really like to know why we were brought here. Something big. It's just the worst of us in this one. Even the Cheek's gonna get his hands dirty. Jarhill? Really? We gonna kill the Emperor or what? Ha! Why not? That wouldn't hurt us a bit. <laughs> Him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, Arkai. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Go back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsad, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with a technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the defensive while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage.
Thank you. You're the butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. Jaws. Know that being here today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. This war has gone on too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, we've been preparing our counterattack with their support. But events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now! It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples! My brothers! We must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor. It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! <laughs> You said something about a suicide mission? It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Right. Archive. You go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the lower floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the Resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. Huh. <laughs> you expecting me to fail? As long as one of us kills the Emperor, nobody will have failed. But yeah. You probably won't come back, Butcher. I probably won't come back either. But that still doesn't mean I expect you to disappoint me, or I wouldn't have chosen you. If you have to die at the wall, you will at least have drawn the attention of the humans, like moths, to the flame. So your brother Bloodjaws will be able to get through more easily. Got it. Fine. If I gotta die so you can get across, I'll do it. And the Quarson will see only me. No, Arkai. Your mission is the same as ours. You have to do whatever you can to reach and kill the Emperor. As far as getting their attention goes, don't worry about it. 
You'll do it anyway. I know you, Butcher. <laughs> so, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell. And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. The Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Arkai. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was gonna be really... And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? Take it easy. I'm the guy. Okay. Glad it was easy hooking up. On the other hand, it's gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. The Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. Why the hell did they give me a rock ash as a guide? 
Vermin, huh? Maybe because whatever you think, I'm still the best. I want to know more before I follow you, Rakesh. What can I say? You can't just walk up to the wall, knock on the door and say, Good morning, I'm here to assassinate the Emperor, and expect them to open up. You gotta take other paths. And that's where I come in. You still don't get it. I want to know more about you. Me? Uh, well... Listen, Rakash. I never saw a goblin that could talk, let alone be a guide. <sighs> Look, you're right. The other goblins are idiots. But I'm a survivor. Actually, I'm so old I could be your grandfather. My grandfather? You watch your mouth, asshole! My grandfather was an honorable warrior, not some... Okay, okay, no offense. It's just an expression. What I mean is that I'm a lot older than the others. A hell of a lot older. I've survived. And to survive, you gotta be smart. Is that a good enough explanation for you? Can we go now? All right. I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice. You go first. One wrong move, and I'll rip your head off and shit in the hole. See? I wasn't bullshitting. They even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door.
trolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Ah, oh, shit. We can't go that way. What? Because of those four runts? Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like, subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. We should go around. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. Just leave without the big guy. He wouldn't like it. I better go get him. Shit. I don't think I can do this on my own after all. You wanted militia? You got militia. Whatever. Enough talk. Let's get this over with. Try not to shout too loud and we'll be fine. I don't need to shout to take out those damn...
Two arms! 